Thanks Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Now I do like me some fried chicken, but many people are saying now Japanese style is way better. Well, let's find out if that's true or not. From all of the research I've done, this is what the Japanese use, chicken thighs. And to be specific, they are boneless. Now the first thing to do is to cut them up in small strips. And I also decided to remove some of the external fat. These thighs already have plenty of fat in between, so the external just has to go. Now once I was done slicing all of them, take a look. Everything is nice and ready to go to the next step, which is to throw all of them in this incredible now this thing is very flavorful. And here's how to make it. Into a bowl I combined minced garlic, followed by minced ginger, soy sauce, miriam, sake, granulated sugar, black pepper, and finish it off with salt. Mix everything together because your marinade is done. Now that is super easy to put together. And it should taste fantastic. Because the only thing left is to make sure that every single piece of that chicken is fully coated with this marinade. As now the only thing left to do is to let it rest in the refrigerator. I'm doing it for 2 hours. But if you have time you will be much better overnight. Now this is what we're going to be using for the breading of the Japanese style. And take a look at the American one, completely different from each other. That's because we're using this, potato starch. To be specific, 100% potato starch. The only thing left was to make sure I got them all covered with the potato starch. Now here's one of the most important part. Make sure to remove the excess. Yes, you can go ahead and press everything down, but once it's coated, make sure to shake it and remove all of the excess. Because once you are done, look, as you can see, they are now fully covered. If you still have any of that marinade left, you can always add a little bit more to the top. To my knowledge, this makes it even more flavorful. So I did this to a few of them because the next thing to do is to deep fry all of them. To do that, I set my oil at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I made sure not to overcrowd the pan and let them cook until I got a nice golden brown color. As they were cooking, some of the potato starch did not brown. It almost looks like they are coated in sugar, but I can assure you, it's fully cooked. If you have any idea why this is happening, let us know in the comment down below because I went ahead and continued to deep fry all of the rest. I mean once I was done, take a look. It almost looks like they're frosted flakes. But hey, in the end, the most important thing is how are they gonna taste? Usually they're served with lemon as I cannot wait to find out which one is best. And of course I had to put a quick side dish together. And these are super easy to make and here's how. We started with the small potatoes. I sliced them in half to ensure all of them were the same size. Then throw all of them into a bowl, lightly color them with olive oil, mixed everything together to ensure all of them was fully covered, then I seasoned them with salt followed by garlic powder and Korean chili flakes. Mixed them once again to make sure they were covered with the seasoning, I spread them nicely on a baking sheet and into the oven they went at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. As that was happening it was perfect because it allowed me time to make an awesome sauce. So into a bowl I combined a good amount of Greek yogurt, followed by prepared horseradish, spicy brown mustard, garlic paste and a tiny bit of sriracha. Mixed everything well to combine all of these ingredients. For a little bit of acidity I added some balsamic vinegar. Then I mixed it once again, seasoned it with a pinch of salt and that was my dipping sauce. For some nice coloring I threw in some parsley on top. Because by this time my potatoes were ready. And take a look, nice golden brown fully baked and they are delicious just like this. But when you put it together with the sauce, oh boy, heaven on earth. They should be perfect to go along with the deep fried chicken. Talking about that, let me show you the American version. To keep things fair, I had to use the same style. I'll be using skinless chicken thighs. The first thing to do was to remove a little bit of the external fat. Once that was done, I went ahead and seasoned them with a good amount of salt, followed by the secret KFC rub. If you want the full recipe, everything will be in the description down below for you. This thing is phenomenal. Now of course, I went ahead and did the same exact thing to both sides. Once done, I threw them in a bowl, followed by a good amount of buttermilk. Then I repeated the process once again. I try to avoid stirring them. Doing it like this will ensure that each one of them will get a good amount of seasoning. If you just stir them around it's just not as good. Once all of them was fully covered with the buttermilk, I let them rest in the refrigerator for 2 hours. But if you want them to be better, do it overnight. Now here's the biggest difference of the breading. For the American version everything starts off with all purpose flour. And this one gets seasoned. First with a good amount of salt, followed by smoked paprika, then garlic powder and of course black pepper. Mix everything well to combine everything together and that is how it's done. The only thing left is to remove the chicken from the refrigerator and bread every single one of them. Just like the Japanese style, make sure to shake it and remove all of the excess. Because once I was done, take a look, perfectly breaded chicken. As all now there is to do is to deep fry them. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to deep fry some chicken, so let's do it.
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Baddest champions, tough bosses, and millions of players, Raid Shadow Legends has it all. Caught in the middle of an epic struggle that was raged through thousands of years. You will fight noble kings and dark wizards. You will uncover prophecies, curses, betrayals, and meet more than 12 warring factions. Wow, look at this old gameplay. I even had hair. Raid has changed so much over the years, just like me. Raid is constantly evolving, just like my crazy ideas. Always adding new updates, new champions, and so much content to always keep me playing. And this month, Raid just released a huge update with features like Awakening and a brutal new dungeon, the Iron Twins Fortress. And Raid has just released a new powerful ultimate that night. And you can get him for free. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and October 27. Use promo code DKRISES to get a bunch of free items and instantly level him up to level 50, 5 star ascension. Promo code is available for both new and existing players. Join the minions playing today and click my link on the description or scan the QR code here on the screen to get unique bonuses worth $30. We are talking a free epic champion, Rector Drath, 200 silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and a nation shard so that you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right everybody, here we have our beautiful chicken today. Chicken and Google Foods, that only means one thing. Better be some special chicken there, right? I was gonna say, <laughs> cold in Miami and Google's cooking chicken. That's right, well, we're not chicken people, I must be honest. Oh, However, I'm the chicken, I'm the chicken for the cold. You're chicken for the <laughs> <laughs> That's enough talking, let's give this a try. They are completely different from each other. This one look a little bit like Frosted Flakes on the top. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like a Krispy Kreme chicken. <laughs> yeah, glazed <laughs> chicken. <laughs> uh, guys, if you know why this happened, put it down in the comments down below. I don't know. If you are thinking that it's because one of them have more cornstarch than the other, that's not the case, all right? I made sure to take out as much cornstarch as possible. You ready for it? Which one you guys wanna go first? This one here or this one? Because? <laughs> This one's so unique, I'd rather save it for last. All right, so you both agree? Yeah, let's right, do that chicken. Let's yeah. go, go for it, go for it. I had to keep the same mm -hmm. style because this is chicken thighs, so I had to do boneless chicken thighs here as well. With the bones is better, all right? Let's give this a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. You see, that's why oh. I like chicken thigh. That's juicy, moist, tender. That's the word, moist. moist. A lot of people hate that word. Moist. <laughs> Personally, it makes me a little uncomfortable when I ever hear it. <laughs> it's extremely flavorful. Absolutely. The batter is not that wet. Sometimes you make chicken and it's too like soggy because you deep fry for too long or whatever it is that came out wrong. As soon as I take it out of the fryer, it's nice, crispy, but not soggy, everybody. Don't make your chicken soggy. That's a bad idea. Incredibly juicy. There's a nice crunch when you bite into it. Very flavorful. Love it. I like that it's like simple. But it also kind of reminds me of like a KFC chicken or something. That's like, right. It's a KFC chicken because it's the KFC recipe. But, it, but, there's, <laughs> but there's no uh, bone? There's no bone. Yeah, there's no bone. Okay, I like it better like this. Uh, I like a the very bone. large like the bone? chicken tender. Great. Okay, enough talking. Let's go ahead and give it a try to the next one because I'm super excited to find out which one is better. I got to stop you. I, I know already what he's going to say. Those and potatoes. I know, I know right? So I was good. like, you don't want to stop real quick? Take a little break? <laughs> let's take it. Let, let's cleanse our planet. That's what yeah. that's the word. Yeah, that, that's let's cleanse the palate. My okay. favorite part of the videos. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Whoa. That sauce is very like different. Very yeah. tangy. That's, that's the, the word. A little bit of acidity. That sauce, super creamy. Honestly, I'm getting a little punched in the mouth right now with the spice. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please try this one? Yes, I'm excited. Let's, try it. let's go yeah. ahead. What shall we call this? The cornflakes? <laughs> yeah, the crispy cream. Fried chicken. Krispy Kreme fried chicken. Yes, Leo. That's Krispy the name of it, everybody. Krispy Kreme versus KFC. <laughs> All right. Enough. Okay, let's go for it. So this one here is supposed to have a little bit of lemon. So go ahead and oh. take your slice. Okay. All right. And then just grab a lemon, squeeze it on top a little bit. All right, let's see. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Holy Wow. I'm a fan. That's nice, man. This is an incredibly flavorful chicken. I like the lemon squeeze on top. It's crispy, but at the same time, it's not like flour when you never you're doing with the regular fried chicken. Because of the potato starch, it becomes much more crispier. I don't understand what the white stuff is all about on top of the chicken. It doesn't make any difference. It's not undercooked. It's fully cooked. Because of the appearance of it, I was waiting for a little bit of that crispy cream glaze to kick in, and it uh, <laughs> never did. A little bit disappointed, because I mean, 
Krispy Kreme glaze. Come on, guys. On some chicken, that sounds like a good idea. Well, I feel like when you get the crust of the first chicken, all the flavor hits you immediately. And on this chicken, you kind of have to get through the crust and then all the juice, the chicken juice, the chicken flavor hits you and it's just a blast of amazing, delicious flavor. Guys, we have to pick a winner, all right? Uh, it's the Which one, one is the winner? 100%. It's the lemon. This chicken has to be my winner. So I cannot believe I'm actually agreeing with both of them. Jeez, thanks, Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is why. This is Kentucky Fried Chicken and this is Japanese style. I I didn't expect the Japanese style to be so incredible. Ah, I mean, I and love Japan, is. of course. All right? I love Japan as well. I love Japanese <laughs> food. But I love my KFC chicken, everybody. Don't you <laughs> touch my KFC chicken, all right? It's amazing. Anyways, this is the results. Highly recommend this one right here. And again, if you know why do we have a Frosted Freaks look, let us know in the comments down below because I don't know why, all right? Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.